App Designer is the recommended environment for building apps in MATLAB. The core environment provides a rich set of components to build apps, but you have the power to make your own UI components, which lets you scale, reuse, and share your code. I'm Tosh Sano from the MathWorks. Let's see how you can supercharge your App Designer apps with your own custom UI components. A custom UI component can help you perform the same repetitive task in different apps. By creating your own component, you can reuse your code across many apps. This lets you create large apps in a more scalable way. A custom component is created by combining existing UI components and defining properties that make up the user interface. In this folder, we see a variety of components that have already been created. Let's take a look at this specially made custom color selector. To create a custom component, we extend the component container class. This base class holds properties and methods that help in building a custom component. The public property block defines all the properties that users of your component have access to. Together, these properties make up the user interface of your UI component. For our component, we define a value property which represents the selected color. Now let's run our color selector component and test that it works correctly. The component launches UI set color where the user can pick a color. And once we select an option, the component changes its color and indicates the normalized RGB values of the new color. Now let's configure the metadata for our component so we can see it in the component library. Here we provide metadata about the component. The name of the component is what's displayed in App Designer. The category sets which section it will appear, and of course there's the icon. There's other fields too, but they're optional. To use the component in App Designer, add the folder containing the component and resources to the MATLAB path. The configuration process creates a resource folder in the directory of the component. The folder holds the metadata we provided. Now the configuration process is complete, let's head over to App Designer. We can see the component is now added to App Designer's component set. The metadata we provided appears in the tooltip. Let's see how we can use the component in App Designer. Here we have an interesting app. It parses customer feedback and uses different colors to indicate positive and negative feedback. It has these basic numeric fields to let users specify the colors, but we can do better than that. Let's replace those numeric fields with our color selector custom component. We'll drag in one and use magic for the others. The public properties of the component are available in the property inspector. And over here in the callback section, you can add listeners. Let's add a callback so that the app will be notified when users pick a color. Again, we're gonna use a little bit of magic. All right, now let's see it in action. We'll use some speed up magic again so that you can see our custom color selector component is used three times in this app. That's a lot better than those numeric fields. To share the app, package up the component and the metadata along with the app. And here are some benefits of making your own component. The code in the component is reused in all the apps. You don't have to copy and paste it. The component has the same look and feel everywhere you use it, and it lets you scale your code better. Now you can share your components with other people who can use them in their own apps. There you go, everybody. Happy app building. For more information and to see the example that we used, follow the links in the description.